Alrighty, welcome back to Beers with Boydo. So today, I've got Budweiser. Now when I think of American beer, first beer that comes to mind is Budweiser. Um, what are the difference between these two? Unfortunately, I don't have the American brewed Budweiser today, but I do have Budweiser brewed in Australia. Now I was in the bottle shop the other day and again, something caught my eye that was a bit different. Usually the Budweiser here in Australia uh, comes in a cardboard uh, six pack, but these ones had like a plastic ring around them. And I thought that looks different. Uh, got to see what the difference is there. Picked them up. And uh, this is Budweiser that is brewed uh, in Vietnam. So we have Vietnam brewed Budweiser and Australian brewed Budweiser. So a little bit of a difference there. Um, some black labeling there, some red there. Um, other than that, pretty similar. Um, one thing I have noticed when having a look is we look at the back here of the Vietnam one and we have 330 mils, 5% alcohol, uh, brewed under strict supervision of Anheuser Bush, I think is how you say it. Um, Vietnam Brewery, product of Vietnam, uh, using the latest brewing technology ingredients, water, malt, rice, and hops. Okay, so 5% in alcohol. Now, if we come over to the Australian one, uh, we have here 1.2 standard drinks. Where's the alcohol content? Ah, 4.5% alcohol down the bottom there. 330 mil bottle. So they're both in 330 mil bottles. Um, beer made in Australia, brewed under the supervision of Anheuser Busch. I think that's how you pronounce it. And uh, so the dip main difference is 5% alcohol, 4.5% alcohol, and obviously brewed in Vietnam, brewed in Australia. So I love doing these videos where I get to compare when the same beer is brewed in different countries because there's a big difference. Usually the Australian one, unfortunately, isn't as good. That's not to say we can't brew good beer in Australia. Some of the best beers I drink are Australian beers. It's just when we try and replicate these um, big overseas brands, just can't get it right. So let's uh, crack on and let's open them up, pour them in the glass, have a look, have a smell, have a taste, see what the difference is. So the Vietnam brewed Budweiser. I think I've had the American brewed Budweiser a couple of times in my life. I went to Hawaii about 10 years ago, but I was mainly drinking Bud Light. I might have had a couple of Budweiser's. Um, then I was on a cruise about six years ago and they were selling the Budweiser's um, in the aluminium bottles. And they'd come around in a cart, a cart, oh, there we go. So the beer had come around in a cart on the cruise, uh, full of ice, and these aluminium Budweiser's and Bud Light would just get given to you. And I remember like you touched the bottle and it was just like the coldest thing you've ever touched. And then when you got it down on your, onto your lips and down into your mouth, down the back of your throat, it was just ice cold. And they were just, they were still one of the best beers I've drunk. I can't really remember the pro flavor profile though. Um, you know, it was just hot and I'm just knocking them back. Um. All right, just had a bit of a problem there. Uh, I filmed the whole thing um, and my phone cut out just as I'd finished pouring, uh, as you saw, when it just cut out the, the uh, Australian one. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to start again. My phone, uh, out of storage. So luckily I filmed these in my mum's backyard. So I've just gone and got her phone. So she's got a better phone. So the quality is probably gonna be even better. Um, gonna have to start again with that. But I thought instead of starting from scratch, let's just kick off where I was. So I think I was telling a story about um, how I was on the cruise and I was drinking the, uh, the Budweiser in the aluminium bottle. Amazing. So uh, yeah, it was. Now <laughs> let's uh, get the one. Yeah, so I was filming. Yeah, so I was, I poured out the, uh, the one from Vietnam. So get that back out. 
I don't have another story now while I pour it about Budweiser. Um, I think one thing I said uh, that I don't want to forget, I don't know the percentage um, of alcohol of the ones brewed in America. So if, can someone let me know in the comments? Um, can chat about that. Okay, Australian brewed Budweiser. Yeah, this is annoying. I should have just started from scratch, but I don't know. I can't be bothered. Um, so I don't want to repeat myself. But uh, basically, 5% uh, ABV for the Vietnam brewed Budweiser and 4.5 for the Australian. So let's have a look here at the heads. Australian one's holding up a little bit better, um, but it was poured after. They're actually holding better than the first time I poured them, to be honest. Carbonation's pretty similar. So let's hold them up. Same color there. Nice light straw color. I think the carbonation's a bit better um, on the Australian brewed one. It's got etching in the glass in the bottom there, so. That, no, they both have the etching. That's the same. Got the Australian schooner glasses here, so. All right. Let's uh, get in for the aromas again. Um, it'll be interesting to see if they smell exactly how they just did a minute ago. Yes, yeah, so the one brewed in Vietnam. You can mild malt smell there. Just smells like a mass produced lager. Uh, refreshing. Australian brewed Budweiser. Yeah, smells a bit better. There's a bit more going on there. Mild malt flavors, bit of hoppiness. There is a, an Australian lager, bit of smell, a, a tiny bit, but it, it's working. The Australian one smells a little bit better than the one brewed in Vietnam. All right, so. Let's taste them, again. Vietnam brewed Budweiser. Yeah, that's a good beer. That's a good beer. It's smooth. It's very refreshing, it's a hot day today. Mild malt flavors there. You can taste that sweetness from the rice. Um, it's reminding me of, it's reminding me of Estrella Dam, uh, the Spanish lager, um, cause they brew their, their beer with rice as well. It's got that tiny bit of sweetness from the rice. Um, very refreshing when it's hot. I could see myself sitting on a beach in Vietnam uh, knocking back a few of them, for sure. All right, Australian brewed Budweiser. Cheers. Oh, I'm essentially tucking into like my fourth beer in like 10 minutes now. Yep, taste out did a couple of minutes ago. It's just lacking. You can really taste that it. it's 4.5% compared to the 5% alcohol. It's just a bit more watery. Like you're not even getting the sweetness from the rice. A, a tiny bit, a tiny bit if you really work for it. Um, it's still a refreshing lager. But yeah. I wouldn't be uh, racing into the bottle shop to grab that. Okay. Vietnam brewed Budweiser. Yeah, that's a great beer. That's a great beer. And look, I think it comes down to the fact that that's 5% alcohol and that's 4.5. So of course this one's gonna be a little bit more watery. Um, that's not to say that beers 
mid-strength beers or even beers, you know, ranging up to 4.5%. They can taste really great. Um, I think it's just when you're comparing it to one at 5%, it's always going to taste better. All right. What else did I say in my previous video that I've forgotten about? Um, yeah, I think I was saying if I was to go to Vietnam or if you were to go to Vietnam, I'd probably, well, I would drink the local beer over this, but if that's all you can get, that's definitely going to do the job on a hot day at the beach in Vietnam. That's going to be cracker. But I'd always advocate for drinking the local beer over that. Yeah, that's a great beer. All right, last thoughts on the Australian brewed one. It's almost like it's got a bit of a tinniness to it. Yeah, I never buy Budweiser here in Australia. Never. I think that's why. I wish we could get the stuff brewed from America. Um, I'd love to compare all three. Maybe one day I'll spot that in a bottle shop. Who knows? All right. Whew. Yeah, great beer. Great beer. All right, so I'm just going to finish off this one. Um, again, in the video that didn't come through, I didn't finish the Australian one. It's for good reason. It's just not on this level. So I'm going to finish the uh, Budweiser brewed in Vietnam, even though I'm very bloated right now. Uh, but hey, that's a good beer. Can't let it go to waste. Very, very smooth and refreshing. Anyway, cheers. Thanks for watching. See you next time.